could you be the one? Shh. Go, go back with another lesson. In this video, we will go into identify and describe triangles according to sides and angles, and also identify and describe the different types of quadrant lines. So let's get started. Let us start with the triangle. Let us know what are the classification of triangle and what is a triangle. A triangle is a two-dimensional closed figure with three sides. It is a ball gun with three corners, three vertices, and three angles joined together that form a closed diagram. A triangle has three sides or three line segments. We can name it as line segment OP, line segment OL, and line segment LP. When the line segments intersect, it is called vertices. The vertices are point O, point N, and point P. The triangle has three angles. In this figure, we can name as angle O, angle P, and angle N. Triangles can be classified according to the measures of their angle. First, we have obtuse triangle. It has one angle greater than 90 degrees. This is the right triangle. Right triangle has one angle equal or exactly 90 degrees. And lastly, we have what we call acute triangle. Acute triangle has three angles with less than 90 degrees. The next classification of triangles we have according to their sides. So the first one is what we call equilateral triangle. It has three equal sides. The second is what we call the isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle has two equal sides. And the last type is what we call the scalene triangle. Scalene triangle has no equal sides. Next polygon that we will go into discuss are the quadrilaterals. In a real life situation or a daily life, we do actually encounter those quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals can be defined as a close two dimensional shape which has four straight sides. The polygon that has four vertices or corners. So let us study the types of quadrilaterals. The first type is all sides are equal. It has four right angles. And the opposite sides are parallel. This is what we call the square. The next type of quadrilateral shown in the figure has the properties of opposite sides have equal length. Next, all the angles are right angles. And the opposite sides are parallel. And this is rectangle. Next type of quadrilateral has the opposite sides that are equal. The length at the upper is equal to the length at the lower side. The length of the right side is equal to the length in the left side. Next is the opposite angles are equal. And the opposite sides are parallel. This is what we call parallelogram. The next type of quadrilateral, it has only one pair side 
that is parallel. And this is what we call a trapezoid or a trapezium. In the last type of quadrilateral, all sides are equal. Opposite angles are equal measures and the opposite sides are parallel. This is what we call a rhombus. So to summarize our lesson, triangles can be classified according to its angle and according to its side. Triangles according to its angles are obtuse angle, right angle, and acute angle. Triangles according to its sides are equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and scalene triangle. Next is quadrilaterals are any polygons that has exactly four sides. That is square, rectangle, parallelogram, rhombus, trapezoid or trapezium.